I'm gonna turn this down. That is loud. But anyway, guys, we are here playing some Dead Rising. I'm gonna see. Is there a way I can switch my... Or is it in, like, the start game and then you can choose different slots, right? Oh, change slot. Number three. We're gonna go ahead and start one in an empty. Start this going... If there's any audio issues, just let me know. something about research for a story that's right got a tip that something big's happening in a nowhere little town like that they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV yeah well I'm freelance pal I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover <laughs> was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Okay, in this part, I'm just going to go ahead and skip. There's no reason. Okay, I need to check something. In this part, I'm just going to go ahead and skip. There's no reason. Okay, actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just okay, I lower need to the volume just slightly on the game. Anyway, yep, I'm going to skip this too because that's just unnecessary. Oops, I didn't mean to have that going through there. You're going to hear a little bit of an echo. Just a slight echo. Anyway, yeah, it, you literally just cra you come down on this rooftop because these military guys come in. And then Carlito makes a snippy comment to you about being a photographer. And you're just like, yeah, bitch, I'm a photographer. Um, the entire point of this entire run through here is actually to um, kill everybody. We're not going to leave any witnesses. We're just going to kill them. What I'm gonna do for my dude, I, I've been playing way too much Phasmophobia in other games. Like I, I'm like hearing my foot, my own footsteps, and assuming the, like there's something next to me that's about to kill me. I right, head into here, go to examine. You can do that too. And there's a little cutscene of this dude getting or this chick getting mauled by like three zombies. And you know it's funny. I played this game a million times before I even noticed this was even a cutscene. I didn't. No, it was even in here. What in the world? I gotta make sure my headphones are on the right setting. We're starting off as a level one, too, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> we literally have nothing, and our speed is god slow. Although, I'd imagine God would be really fast, so. Booty slow. I 
I really like what the, uh, the reboot, or not the reboot, the, uh, No time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. You know what the problem with the other- oh, okay, wait. What I was saying earlier was, this port, like, ever since they made it, like, it's been so freaking nice. Like, the frames are much smoother, like, it just feels, like, a lot less wonky than the original version. Because I used to play the one on the 360 for a very long time, and then once they started porting stuff, I just brought it to my computer so I can play it at all times. Because it's one of my favorite games, and I never want it to die out because I need something to do. And I can play this game over and over and over again and never get bored of it. It's just, it's really fun. The reason why I'm not a huge fan of the second or third games... Um, it, well, the second one still kind of had a threat with the zombies, but I feel like after that, zombies just kind of fell out of the equation. Even though that in like the third one... They're a little bit more, like, they're just all over the place, but they were easy to deal with. Like, this game, dude, you just don't want to freaking be near them. I mean, it's just so much different than what the other games were. And a lot of people like the second one over the first one, but I actually really like the first one for its really creepy undertones and, like, awesome story. The second one was just kind of a carbon copy just uh not not so much a carbon copy but um just it, it was extremely you could tell like the modeling was done over uh over this game pretty much but anyway let's move on What you've no. done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the?
I love how he's speaking, but he's only talking to me, really. There's no one else. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over a cutscene, but it's just funny. <laughs> Alright. We gotta start it somewhere, man. We're psychopaths. I didn't even realize I hit him. Kathy, it's your turn. These guys are one hit kill. It's freaking hilarious. Oh no, my fingers are too cold to do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit people with the two by four. Oh, get wrecked. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait, wait, no. <laughs> Get away from me, zombie. I'll get two hit kills. Oh, no! Usually I'm not this bad. <laughs> I'm only a level one and my fingers are cold. <laughs> Ooh, this should be proved to be fun later on in the game. We'll go ahead and smack that bitch and head up the stairs. I think we killed two people with the two by four. into the mall and apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducks so they won't be a factor <laughs> wait a minute you want to get back in there what for hey hey <sighs> nice camera are you a photographer as a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> There's just like pictures of her ass on there. <laughs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Can we kill Otis? <laughs> just joking, I like Otis. Can we just take away his walkie? <laughs> Go ahead and take some food. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you with this two by four. Here we go. I, ca I can't. Not until she. Later on in the game when she zombifies. I probably just spoiled something there. But it's obvious. Okay, this is when you should save. 
Not before, because then every time you die, if you die, and then you have to come back and just go through all that again, so you save afterwards. Alright, so we're gonna head out. Okay, pointless cutscene. Alright, so right here you should always take a picture. You'll see the thing at the bottom showing up. Ah, there we go. Just get an easy 100% on that. Like, you're not in any th the writing situation. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and head over here and grab this. This is a good weapon to use against Chef. Oh, wait, what? Get, what get, stop. Stop what you're doing. Yep, you deserve this. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. Alright. You know what? I'm going to go hit his wife in the face first. With the propane tank. Chef, can you just go away? Mister. Uh, Mister. You can't affect him and then take him over to his wife and the cutscene will still happen, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she got hit like seven times with it. What a jerk. What a jerk. <laughs> See, you just take her out first because she doesn't fight back. She just runs from you. Jesus. Is my hit power really that weak? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I can just keep wonking her as she gets back up. One second. I need to go grab a bucket. She's getting two shelves to the face next. Why? Aww. She's running now, dude. I'm gonna go smack this across her back. <laughs> and get bludgeoned with the freaking metal shelf, bitch. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him to his dead ex. <laughs> <I'm gonna, laughs> oh my lord. This is going to be so fucked up. <laughs> and for self-defense, I'm going to take this bat. Because I feel like he's going to try fighting back. That was initiation. Let's go. <laughs> I think I gave him brain damage. I literally just assaulted you with a bat and your blood is spewed all across the floor. And you're going to sit here and just be all friendly to me? Why would you do that? Follow me. <laughs> Oh, wait, we're not done with initiation. You must get hit in the face of the bucket as well. Oh, you didn't get hit. That, that wasn't in the face. I gotta redo it. Got him. Come on, dude. Come on. Look at my artwork. <laughs> Did he defect because he saw that? <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. I really didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't know he defected if you saw his dead wife. <laughs> oh, that That's... Dude, they did such a great job with the coding in this game. Hey, wait, soccer ball. Oh, get wrecked, asshole. 
You can't grief, not yet. Ah! No way. <laughs> it looks like I just kicked him. I think someone needs a shelf bludgeoning. This is how I killed your wife. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I'm already doing fucked up shit. Might as well add to it. <laughs> Oh, I should have taken a picture of him when he was weeping over his wife. Nice. Should I just go kill myself and redo it? I'm just joking. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if I can include his wife in some sort. Oh, that's so fucked up. <laughs> and that's fucked up. <laughs> Wait, no, I got this. I'm not Frank West photojournalist. I am Frank West criminal investigator slash forensic expert. All right, we got to cone this off. Make sure that nobody steps in the evidence. We're going to first take an overall picture. That's a good picture. Anyway, take a picture of the evidence. Footprint analysis. More footprint analysis. Unfortunately, I can't take dead on pictures. I think I'm leaving a blood trail. We'll take a group photo and then we'll take individual okay you know what let's just take a, a picture of Natalie's face and get the fuck out of here that's fucking creepy at least close her eyes after you kill them dude <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about that I didn't realize that was a reaction in the game I thought he wouldn't even notice <laughs> I thought it would just be like, oh, there's a dead body. I didn't realize that they had scripted that in. Like, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> Alright. We need another 2 by 4 I think I took a very long time. Yeah, I did. I took a while doing that. <laughs> I probably should have just moved on. <laughs> dude, is it, what's problematic is that your dude sits there and holds the phone. At least in like the other ones, you can still press on it and it'll be okay. Like, I mean, like you can do whatever the hell you want. I'm pretty sure in the second one. Oh, dude, there's a sledgehammer up there. Oh, well, I got the best weapon in the game. A freaking mannequin arm. I just want the arm. I don't really want anything else. Yeah, you know what? No, we're going to beat him with a mannequin. <laughs> we're going to go kill Kent. Fuck is NFC service and why is it blocked? Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Dude, that's distinctly Jesse's footsteps. They made him such a dumbass in the early part of the game. God, it's you. Look. Don't sneak up on me. <coughs> Brad was attacked. 
I located him on the monitor. Oh! It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. It is totally okay to use this pistol r up right away because he, uh, you actually spawn with another one after the cutscene going into the cafeteria. But first, we're gonna go be a certain someone with a mannequin torso. It's gonna be great. Because this guy's probably one of the most annoying guys. To deal with. Hopefully he won't murder me right away. He's also very tough, so you gotta be careful. First, I'm gonna hit him in the head with the 2x4, just to say hello. He's probably gonna try to shoot me. I will go and heal and then take another one. It's okay if he shoots me, though. Oh, no, he's fine. Why did I just do that? We won't even use a gun. I won't snoop to his level. We're just gonna beat him with a fucking mannequin body. Mm, oh yeah. Oh dude, we killed him! He didn't even freaking fight back. He didn't have a chance. That mannequin body is actually extremely tough. Wait, I want that back. Where'd that go? Did that break? Did I hit him so many times it broke? <laughs> That's going to be the objective of this entire run, is just to kill people in extremely bizarre ways. I feel like that was pretty bizarre. Uh, do we need a larger inventory space? Because I want to use a skateboard, but the problem is... In the You know what? We can actually use a skateboard right now because of the fact that... There's not many zombies here in the first day. On the second day, there'll be much more, but hopefully it'll be ranked up enough to be able to carry some books. To Oh, shit. Okay, that... I don't even know what I'm going to do now. Should I? You know what? I can always... Nah, I'm going to need a melee weapon. We'll just ditch the can gun. Honestly, I don't even use it against Carlito. There's a book to allow you to do, like, jumps and shit with the skateboard. It's pretty cool. But I just don't have the inventory space for it. Otherwise, I totally would. I actually like the skateboards because they get you around the map a little bit faster. It's really nice if you're carrying survivors, too, because you can quickly skate to some spot, put a marker down where you want them to go, and then you can cover them the entire way so they can get to their place safely. thing is... The bots are a little dumb in this, so you have to kind of work with it. And a good way is using your objective or waypoints when you have a survivor with you. You can set, you know, waypoints on the doors and shit like that. Do that. It's totally worth it. Aw, oh, dude. We're totally going to kill the convicts and then run over Sif Sophia with this lawnmower. I was just mowing. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Your uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? 
I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. Ah, the puns. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. Why do I have to do it? You're the guy who's trained with the gun. One, two, three. He wasn't reloading. He started shooting. <laughs> anyway, let's not get shot while we go grab this. It's okay, we're gonna hit him with this, and then we're gonna hit him with a freaking bat. Enemies like this, I'll just take out traditionally, just because it's harder. Ah! No! That actually does a lot of damage to him. for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Cocky. Sorry. I've got nothing to tell you. Look. I don't know what Jesse told you. But as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Where did you, you take You help it? me, I help you. hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed, underhanded, hot-shot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story, or not? Ugh. Don't worry, we're almost done with the cutscenes. Or at least this section of cutscenes.
Oh, thank God, the zombie ride. That's like one of the best moves in the game. Because when you encounter a group... Oh, that was a wrong move. There you go. It's really good in like large crowds. Okay. Brad will be fine on his own. I'm just going to go ahead and... Ah! Uh, not get eaten. Wait, what happened with my volume? Why did my vol... What, what's going on with my volume? <laughs> my volume meter came up. I don't know why. I didn't do shit. But anyway... <laughs> and that'll let us carry one more... Oh, you know what? If you ever play this game, you have to do this to a zombie. Oh, that was a shitty throw. One second. I'm actually horrified of zombies in this game because they're like immovable objects. Yeah. That... Also sickles. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh god, sickles are so strong if you get that super attack going. It's all about timing. Actually, Brad sticks some damage over there. <laughs> like, sorry, Brad, I gotta eat more. My, my fucking fat ass needs more health. <laughs> He's like, fuck that chair. <laughs> Sorry, zombie. I'm gonna run you over. Uh, or move you. Apparently you can't run zombies. Oh, there we go. Hi, Brad. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Oh, wait, wait. No. <laughs> I actually forgot if you beat him there... He will, um, you can open that gate and then jump to the next cutscene without going through this one. This one's actually pointless. I don't know why that's even there. There's no dialogue. It's literally just him opening the gate. They call me the Grim Reaper. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until... Oops, I didn't mean to skip that one, actually. <laughs> um, Basically, what happens is he's just, like, refusing to leave. So now we got to go meet those people there. But we got to go do one thing. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do it with. <gasps> ah, that's what I wanted. We'll come back for that sickle later. I forgot there's zombies over here. Oh my lord. Wakey wakey. <laughs> I'm just like beating the shit out of him as he's trying to get up. Ow, he's punching! You ain't punching me, bitch.
Fucking boxes, dude. Ow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, this. Ow. <laughs> okay, novelty lipstick is not a good killing weapon. No, I already know what I'm using for the next one. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. I think we should almost wait here till 5, but we're going to go ahead and do this now. I'm kind of impatient. So one thing I would grab before ever entering Alfresca, always grab the parasol because you want to be able to get to the door. <laughs> They're just good for clearing out crowds. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want this. <laughs> I was trying to open the door and it took the, the fucking... <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow, that made a loud sound. We'll take the sledgehammer for backup in case of this plan doesn't work, but I think this plan will work. I'm going to terrorize these guys. <laughs> I'll set that down there for safekeeping. Oh, you know what? We actually can't take the parasol and the other thing I'm wanting to grab. Oh no, they're surrounding my sledgehammer. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna terrorize him with a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> Let's get it started. <laughs> Wait, zombie, zombie. <laughs> I can't even get in the fucking room. <laughs> Stop eating the other one. That's cannibalism. <laughs> Don't worry, your lord and savior is here whenever I can bust through your fucking barricade. I guess I could just pick this up and... Okay, let's get this started. <laughs> okay, you know what? We actually have some time because he won't do anything. <laughs> oh, he just stops. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. This is what I'm kind of curious about, honestly. I'm going to say screw the dumbbell. I'll, I'll use that on Leah. Can I do the same move that I do to zombies on him? Not like the ankle, but there's one other move that this thing has. If you just soft tap X. This. I'm going to test this theory out. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go ahead and just swig that real quick. Ah, you can't. Okay. Um. 
Okay, how likely could I beat him with... Maybe I should just beat him until, like, he's low health and hit him in the face of the thing of milk. You know what? I think we'll do more damage throwing it at his head. Now, this is a brutal attack because, dude, it, it, it just it slices you, him before he can even get up. I changed out your friend, now I'm sickling the other. I didn't mean to let him get up. Always oh, with that sledgehammer, dude. I love the sledgehammer. It's one of my all-time favorite weapons. If you hold X on it too, it can kill multiple zombies in one swing. I will not die. Not today. Let's go save. I believe this is the window I broke. Okay, so we're going to leave going to the cafeteria. Which, oh my god, should I grab like something from the cafeteria? I believe there's a few things you can grab that you can kill somebody with. Actually, I'm kind of curious. If you throw it, if you throw cooking oil on the ground in front of them, if it will slide and fall all over the place, and then we can just kind of have like a joke kill. Yeah, you know what? Always keep the sledgehammer, though. It's always a good backup weapon. In case if, uh... Oh, he's gonna call right away, isn't he? You're in the food court now. Okay, I know I'm in the food court. I've been in the food court. I know where there's food. I know there's blenders. I was literally looking at one during a cutscene. Wait, he's gonna call again. Did we miss it? Ah, there it is. I gotta actually... I don't know why I just took that. I didn't need to. Let's get out of here before it gets swarmed. We're still too low level to be fucking around with zombies. Okay, so we'll just head this way then. We'll still make it, although I don't think we're going to make it before the convicts spawn. That's going to be tragic. Because they will fuck me up. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Oh, oh, we don't have the jump kick. <laughs> Fucking low level. <laughs> we'll go ahead and stash this here. I'm going to make her slide and then we'll beat her with something. I just want to see if this works. Oh no! <laughs> Get out of my way, zombie. I thought you wanted to get money, bitch. That's why you're crying, right? Because you're going to get the cash register open. Okay, how much damage does this do if you hit him in the face with it? What? <laughs> oh, you know what? We can use more creative ways than a sledgehammer. Come on. I said... Always! I accidentally double tap X. 
Wait, I need to take a picture of my... <laughs> did she get bit? I think she did. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I was in there. <laughs> oh my god, can I just jump over these zombies? <laughs> Oh no, that was a terrible, that was terrible timing. Oh, uh, what? No, why are you benched over, dude? Just freaking run. We're staying true to our word. We're killing everybody. Anyway, let's get some freebies here. And then we'll go get a replacement sh sledgehammer because I, I believe this thing's almost seen its... Oh, you know, why am I not doing that? That's like a power move right there. Actually, I guess this is also more of a power move. Oh, that took it. Another one? You can walk on treadmills. I still feel bad for what I did to Jeff and Natalie. <laughs> that got fucked up real quick. <laughs> okay, that you actually have to. I thought I could grab that, but apparently I couldn't. I just wish this would happen a little bit faster. And I didn't do the head thing in Paradise. What am I doing? I'm fucking up. This used to be my safety spot in Infinity Mode. Alright, and then we'll grab that. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Believe there's one bit above this kid. <laughs> okay, no, you can't do that. Oh, there was a 99% spot. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Believe there's one on this one as well. Oh my god. I just want the ski mask. Oh, there is the 100%. I found it. But I gotta remember where it was. It's a little further back. Honestly, uh, 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 whatever. I actually hit X, but that's fine. <laughs> I was about done with it anyway. And another one right here. This one should be an easy hundred. Fantastic. I believe that's it. But we'll do like one little thing here. Wait, isn't there one on the tre on the bikes over here? Ah, there it is. Got it. Fantastic. And then one on this thing over here if I can ever get to it. Fantastic. Oh my lord. Can I just go? <laughs> and there's nothing on there, is there? Nah. I didn't think there was. I think that's all of them. That is a pain in the ass. I'm actually going to save after that. <laughs> oh my god, I hate these little bench things. <laughs> yes, the zombie's eyes are red. I actually, I'm going to skip this. 
trying to get more play time in then. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. I hate doing the clock towers. Although you got to do it when the convicts aren't there. Otherwise they just fuck you up. I do plan on when I get more health going after Cletus. You just can't do it with four, dude. His shotgun's too powerful. If I can even get to him in time, he might despawn before. Okay, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit, I should have went in and grabbed a sledgehammer. What am I doing? <laughs> We're going back in for that sledgehammer. <laughs> Although, I do think I'm going to fight Adam. That shortcut is crucial. Especially the later missions when you're running around trying to do other things. And oh my lord, would you just back off? Is there a pee, -pee sticker in here? Nah. I will beat you with a pipe. You know what? Should we do something risky and try to fight Adam with a melee weapon? Guns are kind of useless, unless if you're using the Mega Buster. Like the real one, not the toy gun. Obviously, that's not going to do shit. Uh. And he just looks at me, he's like, oh. Oh yeah, I can, I can carry five so my stock went up. Oh, there you go. Dude, I love the ball music. Like, it's like the greatest, like, most relaxing thing about this game. I know we can level up much faster. You know what? No, the objective is to kill everybody. We'll get our XP through photographing and shooting villains. Alright. <laughs> They're driving backwards. <laughs> oh no, Sophie. Run over here so I can murder you. <laughs> Don't run over there. You're gonna get murdered by them. I want the kill. <laughs> this game always had like the best music though. <laughs> Just because of the rapping with the squirrels. <laughs> Sophie? Sophie, we gotta do this fast. No, Sophie, over here. No, I don't want to activate them. Sophie. <laughs> Sophie, don't. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> she, she's an idiot. Why would you run towards them, idiot? They can go ahead and chase her. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get involved with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. It's, it, they can have it. That machine gun does too much damage. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dude, they were like murdering her. <laughs> they're stuck. And they're driving backwards again. <laughs> they're savages, dude. They're just going after her like a hound. Oh, that lagged my game. <laughs> there, she'll most likely be dead here in a minute. Yeah, I tried my hardest. But, like, I can't go up against that yet. I don't have a gun, like, that's worthy. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to take a few sniper rifles out and then just snipe the gunner off of it and then the uh, drivers afterwards. Oh, she's dead. Anyway, this is freebie. First off, we're gonna get a picture of this thing. I'm not gonna try to get 100%. Fuck that. It's hard to get that one. No! <laughs> Got it. Life up. Yes. That's what we needed. Oh no, don't eat me. <laughs> ah, you whacked me with that. <laughs> that looked like I hurt. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the part with the wasp. Yep. So, we have the wasp now. The queen. I'm still trying to think of other ways we can... Actually, what's kind of cool is if you stand next to them, they'll throw up on you. Just give it a second. It actually just orients your player. That's why you really can't stand next to them. Oh my god. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and... You can't meditate if you're helmeted. Actually, if you didn't know this, though, if you go the other direction and head towards the other door. You can actually find another queen. Now, what if you throw a queen at a queen? Does it do anything? No. Asshole. I usually don't use queens. They're just kind of inventory space wasted. Especially when you're carrying like three books later on when you have like a full, um, like when you can carry like the maximum amount of stuff. I think it's like 12 or something like that. Where are we going? We're going to do this cutscene, and then we'll go jump over and try to fight Adam. Try to fight Adam. That's a key point. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We got a line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're going to have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right, we've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. 
Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Cool, we're done. You know what, let's save. We're still not like a good health level just yet. Eat an apple, then save. I'm gonna do a little bit trickier shit with Adam instead of throwing objects like I normally do at him. I'm gonna actually try to hit him with the sledgehammer. Feel like that would do a lot of damage. And if not, I'm gonna die. <laughs> What time is it? It's probably close to Adam spawn time. It's about 9 o'clock, I believe. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're going to get another call when we get out. I think it's Shadow of the North Plaza. It's a hint at a later mission. I believe there are zombies in this elevator now. Yes. Yes. I normally just run in there and press B at the elevator. Don't even kill any of them. You just run in there with them. <clears throat> it, if you're fast enough, you can easily get past them. But we need to kill Adam. Like it's it's vital because we need to get that one guy to the shortcut, and then we can murder him there. I. Oh no. <laughs> Savage. I don't need you. Or you. We can shank Adam to death. The problem is though, doing or going up against Adam 101 is chainsaws are extremely powerful. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> How did he miss that? <laughs> How did he miss me? <laughs> he just like fell. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's a, a sticker around here. We need to get the points. Fantastic. Oh, that's just a box. Okay, we're gonna uh, probably go grab. I don't know. Adam has a tendency to break melee weapons. So I don't know if we can even use this. We might have to just go and find the Uzis around the place and use those. There's the call. But what am I gonna use to kill this guy? Because, like, dude, <laughs> you need a gun or something. Um, because he breaks melee weapons. His chainsaws do a lot of damage to them. I mean, I could go grab the Nell gun in North Plaza and then work my way back. I guess I'll just run over to North Plaza. It's pretty close. It'll be closer than trying to run across the way to the cafeteria. We can go and find something to use against them there. Problem is, I don't think I'm able to get to him before. Oh no. <laughs> we just gotta try not to die by these guys. These guys do a lot of damage. I don't have any guns. Move into a shelter. Oh god. Oh god, please no. <laughs> Where are they? They're probably stuck some. Oh, they're still on the other side of the map. I'll be fine.
I'm like, sorry, I'm, I'm just really focused right now. Because, yeah, they're driving around the map. Ow. <laughs> oh, I almost made it there without even getting attacked once. My dude just gets mauled. We'll go up here and answer this. I hate this. Dude, there are zombies. <laughs> He's like, be careful out there, it's dangerous. Meanwhile, he, he proceeds to call you every single time you're in a sticky situation. <laughs> Fucking Otis. Dude, the Otis memes are like the best. <laughs> I actually let it ring half the time. It just gets really annoying. I wish you can like, there was a separate slider option for Otis's or for the transceiver's calls. Need to grab this and stock up. Oh god. Okay. Okay. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I mean, we can run in and out and still go grab more weapons. Yeah, cause I mean, there's another method of killing Cletus where we're gonna go after Cletus actually. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it though. I'm kind of a low level. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll uh, grab the nail gun. Cause nail gun still does a bit of damage. It just takes a minute. But if you can get stationed right behind that like little display thing, just in the right position, we'll be able to fend off his shotgun attack. Even hell, we can stand behind with Oh yeah, we can just clear out the area with the sledgehammer. I just need... Okay, there's the excavator. I think that's a nail gun over there. Thing is, nail guns have 60 nails in it, so like... It's actually a viable weapon, and it can actually kill Cletus in a really decent amount of time. I think you only need like two or three to actually kill him. But you can fire him off in rapid succession. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save first. Just so in case we die, we'll have a backup plan. Because if we can get like. A gun will be able to fend off Adam a little bit easier. We just need something that we can hit him with that's not like a, a shotgun would be perfect. But the problem is, you need to get into the gun shop in order to get that stuff. Holy crap, get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't want to lose health until I got to the freaking fight. Oh no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Don't kill me! about to run boy oh no <laughs> you see that guy just like limp limb just freaking start sprinting at me up oh. <laughs> wait 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 oh dude sometimes the zombie ride is a little wonky you can't really I I gotta stop stopping to hit them with shit no, I do. This is not a good time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, wait. I, I need a drink. I need a drink. Nobody fucking attack me. Oh, yes, we got it. <laughs> Okay, tricky, tricky situation. We're going to run out that door. That's how we're going to do this. We're going to fight him from the outside, not from the inside. That's a terrible idea. 
But we gotta also avoid his first shotgun attack. That's most likely gonna hit us. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <gasps> Not now, Otis! <laughs> you seem to see everything on cams. Can you just, like, watch me for, like, ten minutes? Join my live stream, Otis. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is most of the challenge here. Otis! <laughs> Like, why didn't you answer my calls? Because he's fucking needy. It's not my fault. Don't worry, we have a, a fucking step ladder. This still does quite a bit of damage. We just gotta stay away from that door. You know what, fuck it. Nah, you know what? We need it for... At that point, it's just a useless zombie. This is how you kill him. He's trying to heal himself through that, so you just keep shooting him with the Nell gun. You're a little out of his range, so he won't try to shoot you just yet. He's trying to like try to get a vantage point on you, but he won't be able to because you're kind of like hidden from him. Yeah, oh no, oh no, that was bad timing. I was really hoping we could have got that off, but it looks like we're gonna have to fight some more zombies before we try to attack him. Oh no, ow. Oh, he shot him in the face, thanks Cletus. Oh, ow. He's out for a fucking vengeance, dude. Got him. Damn. Damn, mister. Come on now. What, what are you crazy? You want, you want good so bad that y'all are willing to kill for him? Yep. Let it go. Hey. Please. Hey, wait. <laughs> We're going to let him zombify. He'll come back up. Just give it a second. Actually, I think he comes back up, doesn't he? Maybe not. No, I guess he's just dead. So he doesn't turn? <laughs> that was weird. I always forget. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I know. Oh god, the Japanese people. See, if I, if I murder them like I usually murder people, it, I don't want to seem racist. I mean, I'm murdering everyone equal. We'll just do it peacefully. 
to you that fucking noise, though. We're just gonna go ahead and clear them. We killed our friend Chris. Or at least I think that's what his name is. That was a terrible shot, the other one. This one's kind of fun. For this, we'll do this, but we'll double back on the way back just so that we can go grab the, uh... Oh, wait, you know, you know what? He has wine back there. We need to go grab that. We need... We're keeping the shotguns for Adam, but we're gonna... Didn't he have wine? Or was it in the box? I believe he has one wine in this box. Although it's sad because I don't actually have a melee weapon right now. Let's go ahead and grab that. Use this as a temporary one. We can at least just clear a quick path. That'll distract some of them. We'll sneak out. Head through here. You know what? Let's just use a shotgun. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Shadow of the North Plaza is actually 11 o'clock. We got Japanese pair, so he's close. We're probably just, it's because we're inside. We're gonna get called as soon as we get in there. I'm a bit behind. Murdering people takes a minute. I'm kind of killing unnecessarily. I didn't need to shoot all those. Okay, yeah, I get it. I'm at Wonderland Plaza. Can you not call right now? You could have just told me this when I was there. Although, you're in the clear. Oh, we didn't save. Where are the bathrooms over here? Or they're down here. Oh, wait, no, they're back here. Whoops. I overran. Alright, so we'll go and save. And then we'll head and go come at him. Should I kill the Japanese tourists? Nah. You know, I might actually take those for a free XP. Although, I'm going to kill this other guy. You know what? Let's just kill them. My plan was to kill the other guy, too. <laughs> it won't be as bad as... What I, what I did to Jeff and Natalie. I feel so bad about that still. <laughs> that kind of traumatized me. Wait, why are there zombies all the way up in here? Hi. <laughs> well, that was fast. I didn't expect it to be a one-shot kill. <laughs> I'll do you some justice. Sorry, I wanted to say that line. Alright, this will be a fun one. We're going to get one bullet in and immediately have to switch guns. <laughs> but this chainsaw is just too freaking awesome not to get. 
If you get the three books with it, it's pretty much indestructible and it kills everything. <laughs> He's always been one of my favorite bosses of this game. Oh no! <laughs> Did you hear me going, yeehaw? <laughs> well, wait and try to provoke an attack from him. Oh! Not that though. Aw, oh, come on, dude. I'll be down there in a minute. I'm not jumping down. That's going to take health away. That will be valuable for the fight. <laughs> he just immediately jumps off the edge every time. I can never fight him just on top. I'd rather just find him on top. There's no zombies. Maybe I should try to attract him. Dude, that is fucking horrifying. See, this is why I didn't want to fight him down here. <laughs> Oh no, come on. Move away. Oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. Hit him like when he's down like that. And then, oh! Also, pop that in his face to get a free shot, although it wasn't blown up enough, apparently. He can still block when he's doing the fire thing. <laughs> that zombie, though. Dude, can you just stop doing that and do a different move? <laughs> yeah. It's not- oh no. Ah, oh, I- oh no. Ah! Oh. Okay, knife. Blow a balloon, asshole. I dare ya. Oh, I shot him in the face still. No, 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 not this balloon. Ah. <laughs> oh. Dude, that balloon! <laughs> it's coming back! <laughs> no! <laughs> I didn't know they had following capabilities. This is annoying! <laughs> oh, we got it to pop. Oh, we got him. <laughs>
Was that the only key card though? Yeah. Yeah, this is like one of the best weapons in the game if you get the books for it. Problem is when you need like guns and shit, you really can't do that. We're gonna go take out the convicts too. I think we have some time for that. But we're gonna have to get this guy escorted so that we can get a passageway open. Anyway, th this is actually kind of pointless. And then you can grab a second chainsaw. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't last very long on its own, but if you get the three books, it lasts for like over a thousand kills. This is like the perfect weapon to uh, lead him with. Mass murder. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> dude, stop running into me. W what are you doing? Fend for yourself and keep back from me, dude. I have a chainsaw. I feel like that one was posing a risk. This dude's just falling over on his own feet. No, no, don't, don't. No, Frank. No, Frank. Can't wait to just kill you, dude. His AI, in my opinion, is the most annoying just because of the way he runs. Like, usually when they do that, they're barreling into zombies all the time. It's like the worst type of running style that they can use. Oh my god! And he's the worst one with the freaking follow missions. Like, dude, I'm right here. Come on. <laughs> We are right next to the bathroom. Get us there and then let's move on. Okay, get move away. Go in. Go in. <laughs> Hello? Hello? And then once and you get that. You know what? No, oh, that's too nope. cruel. I, I can't. So. I can't do it. I'll just do that and then boom. All right, so we're gonna go and circle back. What time does that start? 6 a.m. We got plenty of time. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Um. Oh. We need to circle back. It's just the best at clearing zombies out. Like, no other weapon clears zombies out as well as this weapon does. <laughs> when it breaks, though, it's hilarious on, like, when you do on, like, the first hit. It'll just tear our way through. We're gonna go straight up to the supermarket. I should have up the stairs and Wonderland went through that other tunnel. It'll be close to where I'm going. Oh, yeah, you thought. You thought. Nope. Nope. Get rejected. Get rejected. Okay, you know what? You can never be too careful. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Fight's not over yet. <laughs> that cleared him out. You can never be too careful. Save when possible. I'm saving the shotgun for the tunnel. Leading to the gun shop. We need to go get sniper rifles. Because the next mission is to kill the convicts. And then maybe ride around on the cheap for a little bit, cause... Oh, 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, um... Oh, wait, there's another guy over here. We'll just, uh, put him out of his misery. I helped him. <laughs> I need to find more creative ways to kill people. I just, I'm trying to get this done before the image of the monitor starts. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's move around these. <laughs> Just close the door in his face. Anyway, free wine? No, it's a melon! <laughs> Whatever. Grab the snipers. We'll eat this melon right now and then use this. To find our way back out. It's okay, we can find a few other... Oh, this gonna suck if this breaks in this tunnel. Like, when I get out of this tunnel, I'll be fine! Oh no, I didn't mean to use that. Oh, get off of me, zombie. My eye was itching so bad there, too. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head over here, then. Oh, free wine? Wait, that's other side room. Up, oh, what was that, a katana? It just slid. Now it's a lead pipe. Oh, no. No wine? <laughs> I thought there was wine in here. Maybe it's at a later point. Oh no. <coughs> okay, we'll just head down here then. Oh, there's a katana. Oh, free wine. You know what, I'll just go ahead and throw this into this zombie there. And then... We'll head out. We'll figure out where they are first. There they are. It's hard to control when it's like that. Whoa, I didn't know the glass was 
protect it. Got it. That's how to take out the convict safely. The only problem is, though, is that Brock's going to be a hell of a fight. Because I'm not going to be of level. <laughs> Let's get to a safe spot real quick, and then we'll take off the gun. If you, if you go down in the main tunnel with this thing, which actually we should go do that while we have this, but first, There are two queens in there. If you just tap X, he'll shoot like in bursts like that, like, or he'll just hit everything first try. I don't know if this actually gives you anything. <coughs> anyway, thought that wasn't intentional. <laughs> oh shit, okay, fuck this. <laughs> I can't drive. <sighs> I break the motorcycle too easy. Skirt. I'm trying not to hit everything, but unfortunately I am. Go ahead this way. Through here. This way. Fuck that. Ah, oh, thank God I can get my sledgehammer back. See a katana. I hate the katana. It doesn't last. Sledgehammer at least gets some hits in. I'm going to grab that. There's also an Uzi over here too. Right there, behind this barrel. I'm not a fan of Uzis. I just use them on the first fight. Because it's really your only shot. At an easy win. Whoa, okay. How did my fucking truck survive that? Some durability this thing has. Skirt! Wait, I don't go to North Plaza. Fuck that. Nope, I went the wrong way. Thought I had it down, but apparently I was wrong.
Oh no, okay. Wait. Ankle crusher. Oh, that lagged the game. <laughs> Those elevators. I mean, they're nice as if you can get there, but I mean, if I'm already fighting zombies, I might as well just fight my way out. Dumbasses. Anyway, we'll go save real quick. Just so we don't end up getting wrecked. Sniper Carlito's coming up, and that is a tricky one. We have about two hours of game time, but I honestly think... There's really nothing to do right now. I've killed everyone I could. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't. There's one thing I'm missing. Actually, can I do both things here? Oh, I can do both things here. Awesome. And then... Ponyhead. Actually, isn't there like a skirt in like entrance? I believe there's a skirt in entrance. I sh Is that it? Is there any other clothing in here that I can try on? No. No. Oh well, that's good enough. For now. It looks creepy. I get people adjusting what make my presence known and get them to like me and that's when they die but you know what we could do is go around and I, I just I don't know why I did that honestly just go ahead and take a picture of that real quick contemporary reading I don't believe there's anything right there What's over here? Camera one. Ah, oh, dude, why? <laughs> I was trying to hit her with the sledgehammer and not get my dick bent off. Because we got these two. A few store signs have one, I believe. Nope. 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 Up, oh, kid choice clothing. Go. Fantastic. Do they have one on the t-shirts? Sometimes they have them on the t-shirts. Okay, what about the t-shirts out here? Please don't be douches. Isn't there one on the back side of this fucking clock, too? Nah. I'm trying to remember. Each one of the locations. There's one over here? No, there's not. Shukins has none. Shukins is a boring store. We're gonna head upwards and do the upstairs first. That'll be a good way to get down to do these back stores over here is go through the sports store and do the sports store like last. Oh, dude, that was screwed. Oh, no, get away. Okay, wait, stop it. Oh, the lag. Too many things are happening. It's empty up here. It's like no one's up here right now. Alright. Go ahead and snap a picture of that. I don't really... Oh, you're gonna do the fucking sports or less. I don't really advise... Oh my, what the hell? Uh... 
Colombian Roastmaster, I believe. One of these signs has one. Not you. Not you. Not you. Okay, no, never mind. Not there. It's actually on the back side of this other one over here. There it is. That wasn't it on purpose. Well, we gotta do this story story. Well, look at all that achievement. One of the books for the chainsaws in here, actually. It's like entertainment, I believe. But we don't have enough inventory space to be able to do that. Perfect. There's that one. Pardon me, zombie. Between the basketball hoops. Perfect. <laughs> Someone just fell. Alright. There's one more in this shaded store. <laughs> Excuse me. Perfect. Okay, took that. I hate this section of the game. <laughs> it's just boring because you're just sitting here waiting for the next one to start. We've either killed everyone or we've done something else to others. So, like, there's nothing to do. There's nobody left alive. Okay, it was... Oh, wait. There's one on the back of this stairwell over here. <laughs> Can we get it from down here? Ah, uh, you ass. Sledgehammer, sledgehammer. Okay. We'll go boop. Perfect. Take a picture of that. Oh, fuck. Don't. <laughs> he just fell. Wait. Ah. No. <laughs> Okay, what is this crap? Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, one right there. Perfect. I believe that was it. There might be one inside the store. We'll search it later, but I know there's one on this bear over here. Perfect. I should put some pony heads on other on these zombies and make them pony people. Hello. You want a picture? Oh yeah, you wanted a picture. Oh no. Tune maker sign. Fantastic. <coughs> I 
Wow, she survived. Oh well, acoustic guitar time. Apparently this can kill things in one hit. That's fucking awesome. I know there's one on the sandwich shop sign. I want to say that's all. At least I can't think of any other spot. What time is it? Almost time for this cases to start. Can I just jump up here? Oh my lord. <laughs> Dude, this has to be like a hundred pounds. <laughs> oh, how? why did someone throw away a baseball bat? That's suspicious. Eject him. Okay, there we go. That's the original outfit I was wearing. Cam's camera. <coughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and head up. This way, I don't wanna deal with zombies right now. I wanna save what little health I have. Where it's not, it's not that bad. And then out the door. <laughs> oh god, my entire camera is littered with pictures like that. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.